the fact that y'all are literally bullying this woman because she dated a white man, it's sick. Why does color matter to you guys so much? It's Amber J. Lee. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's learn, pretty girls. And also, while you're here, just follow my Instagram as I also post updates. Dear Black Girl, they may call you a traitor for falling in love. You'll hope the ones closest will protect you. Would y'all still have dragged her if she was a white woman and he left her for a black woman? Y'all Actually, y'all would have. My thing is, you guys are making their relationship about color so much to the point where it's sickening. When it's literally just two people who broke up and decided not to stay together. That's literally it. It has nothing to do with race. But of course, people are making it about race because that's what people like to do. And the same people, especially my people, the same people who like to point out color and then get mad when the opposite people see color. Like, I just can't stand the hypocrisy. Black women should be allowed to date white men. Black men should be allowed to date white women. We People are people. Like, I don't get, like, no race is superior. No, this is that the third. People are people. Guys, Kayla here. It's always been really important for me to use my platform not to create division, but to elevate and unite women, black women specifically. But you will quickly find out that people don't protect what they don't value. They'll say you're too much, too provocative, too boisterous, too outspoken, and in the same breath tell you that you're not enough, not successful enough, not wholesome enough, maybe not even intelligent enough. They'll say you deserve the backlash and embarrassment because of your blackness, you should have known better. If I'm out dating and a white man catches and me and him have more in common than the black man, then so be it. And if the black man has more in common with me than the white man, then so be it. I feel like we guys, we are too focused on race. Like people are literally dragging her. They're like, oh, you dated a white man. You are a white worshiper. You can't say she's a white worshiper because she dated a white man. Does that make sense to you? So if you're, you, if you date a black man, you're a black worshiper. Like that makes no sense. You cannot control who you fall in love with. I'm sorry, you can't, right? This is why I don't judge interracial couples because it's like, love is love. I don't know, for me, love is no color. People are saying like, oh, you can't tell me anything. You can't talk to me. You don't even date black men. And it's just like, so because she dated a black man, she has no relevant experience as a black woman. Like she's faced racist comments. She hit from both sides, from white people and black people. Both of you guys were giving her hell. She didn't speak bad of him nor Taylor. She just existed. She just existed. And that was enough for you guys to tear rain on her. You guys didn't do that when they were together. It was fine. Nobody had no complaints. But as soon as they broke up, it was just like, oh, I guess the white man isn't so better. This, that, and the third. You don't know what happened. And then she broke up with him. I'm shocked at the sisterhood. I'm shocked. When I seen the sisterhood tweet, some some dear black girl, they cut the video off. I am shocked at the sister because this is a fellow black woman. Yeah. And my thing is, if you really support black woman the way you say you do, you'd support her even if she's dating a man of non-color. Interracial dating has been here since the beginning of the time. It's going nowhere. That's like me seeing a black man in trouble and being like, I'm not going to help him out because he dates white women. Like, no, he's still a person. He's still a human being. He's still a person of color. And the the tweets I was seeing from black men were so disgusting, guys. It was so disgusting. Black people are sending her death threats. Like, what is going on with y'all? Oh, are toxic. Social media is so toxic. One thing about social media is they take what you say and take piece of what you say and flip it. Like, y'all did that with the Tyler Perry situation. Y'all flipped it. Y'all did that with the... um the um the ebony k williams situation y'all flipped it like y'all just flip everything to fit a narrative and it's just tiring it's just tiring this black woman did nothing wrong but said hey stop abusing me people are saying this in the third but you are loving you're caring and then y'all tore her down and it's like what did she do she said nothing about taylor or travis what travis is cheating on taylor he's only with her because she brings in money he's a businessman first He'll have his side piece and she's going to be black. The way y'all are bullying and attacking this woman simply because she's a black woman who dated a white man is just tiring. I can't take it.